good whatever time it is out there for you landers and youtube you know i've had a few requests over there on twitch uh, people asking questions on how i got started with streaming and how i make my channel the way that i did where i picked up all of my information and so i figured why not make a video for it why not make a few videos for it and you know what if you like it maybe we can go over a few other streaming things to kind of make it a series so let me know put it in the comments below Alrighty, let's get to it. Oh, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, and hey, also come hang out with the rest of the landers over on Twitch. You know, we stream over there three days a week. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, three to seven. Links down below. So today, I wanted to go over a few basic things that you can do before you even hit the start streaming button. And I know that I said I didn't want to go over lists and tips and tricks over, you know, over in the 10 things I learned video. And I'll link that in the bio as well. Uh, but enough people have asked. Enough people have asked me kind of a lot of the very same similar questions um, because they're all trying to get started on streaming. Uh, and they like what my channel looks like. They like what I do over there. Um, and, you know, this is your community after all. So I'm going to answer those questions. Here are the five things I did prior to starting my stream. Oh, and take all of this, like literally all of this, with a grain of salt, because I'm new to streaming. It's It's been four months, maybe four. Um, but I do have a really good habit of doing a ton of research and studying everything that I am interested in. So I, I look at every little bit in detail and I pour time and energy in just to the trying to make it better every single time by looking at what other people are doing, looking at what else is out there. So, uh, I mean, I guess I'm just kind of condensing all that research down for you. Yeah. So, all right. Number one, decide what your content is. This may not seem as important as the other items when it comes to streaming, but it is part of who you are. What is it that you want to stream? What do you want to add to the world of the internet? I mean, do you enjoy streaming first-person shooters? Um, being super loud and all over the place and very animated and really just sitting there trying to, was it pwn hordes of noobs from afar with a sniper rifle? or? You like to be chill like me. I mean, really, we're just kind of looking to play a little bit of everything, have a good conversation, have a beer or two. Uh, do you just enjoy talking? You literally like going over current events and going back and forth with your chat and the people that are there and, I don't know, having a good time doing that. Or are you into something more artistic? Are you into graphic design, designing emotes and designing banners and you know sub badges for other streamers uh, do you like painting do you do leather work uh, are, are you a brewer do you sit there and actually brew beer do you cook all of these things can be streamed but the direction you take from your stream is literally endless but it needs to come from you it needs to come from the things that you are interested in things that you enjoy number two get your voice yes you will need something to stream whether it be a camera showing your face or a video game that you're going to be playing but unless the audience can hear you how are you going to separate your content from everyone else out there just playing a game on stream there are tons of people out there with no mic just streaming Marvel Avengers, streaming Forza, streaming whatever, and none of them use a mic to talk to you. So what's going to make you different if you do the same thing? You have to have audio. I have said it before, audio is the number one thing when it comes to content creation. Yes, crazy cameras and everything else make you stand out above other people that are doing it. But your voice is what makes you stand out, which is what makes you important. It provides value. So if you have no audio, you have no voice. Without a voice, 
knowing you hear what amazing things you have to say. Now, I'm not saying go out and buy a $500 Go XLR and a $1,200 Shure microphone um, to have the best audio out there. What I'm saying is get something, anything. If you're just starting out, uh, the mic on a headset from an Xbox or a PS4 will work just fine. For the first couple of test streams that I did, I had used a wired headset that I had received from my Samsung phone that I purchased three years ago. It did pick up a lot of the things that were in the room, but it's, you can isolate some of those until you can make some money to buy better gear that improves the content. You can close doors. You can make sure that the TV's not running in the background. And if you've learned some of the tips and tricks with your streaming platform, you can put a noise gate on there. You can put noise suppression on there. If you have a, a 2060, a 2070, or a 2080 RTX card, an NVIDIA RTX, you can use the RTX voice to cut some of that out. Even if you're using a $10 wired mic, it'll sound better with those types of things, which actually leads into number three. Number three, know your streaming platform. Whether you're using Slobs, so Streamlabs, or OBS, that's Stream Elements, uh, vMix, which studio, whatever it is, learn how to use it. Familiarize yourself with that platform. Find out the pros and cons. Actually, that'd be another good video. Anyways, find out the pros and cons of each platform and see what will fit your content. Once you've done that, take the time to learn the ins and outs of that chosen platform. Even learning the basics of scenes and sources or, or adjusting your frames per second and the bitrate to fine tune your stream so it doesn't lag or drop frames will make a huge difference in the long run. Now, maybe you can even add those noise gates and noise suppressions we were talking about earlier. And it makes troubleshooting that much easier. If you know how to use your platform, you will look more professional, transitions will be better, your overlays and scenes will look cleaner, your sound will be better. You, I mean, you could even add widgets and media to make the stream more entertaining and interactive for your community. So know your streaming platform. Number four, make that stream yours. Get overlays, alerts, uh, any type of media that will fit your stream. There are plenty of free overlays out there from both OBS and Slobs uh, that you can add to make you stand out. Um, and you know, if you're not happy with those either, try looking at sites that are out there like Nerd or Die or Owned. Um, and I'll put the links down below for those. That you can literally spend you know, 15 to $35 for an entire package for your stream. Um, and it definitely will seem like something a little more customized and professional looking for you. Most streams will also need music. So make sure that you're getting copyright free music for a number of sources so you don't have to deal with DMCA problems. I, I know that I'm gonna have to make a video for that one. So that'll be coming up. I currently personally use Stream Beats through Harris Heller and Alpha Gaming, and Pretzel Rocks for my music. And there are other cheap options out there through, say, Monster Cat, where you pay them $5 a month for Monster Cat Gold, and you get licensed legal music from them for your content. Number five, test adjust and repeat how do you know if your audio levels are good or if any of your alerts work how about the placement of your overlays while you're on stream uh, all of these things can be sorted out by recording a test stream before you actually go live i began test streaming after my first, so I, I I made this mistake. I actually streamed my first time. I was like, everything looks great. You know, I thought everything lined up where I wanted it to. So I didn't actually do test streams until after my first stream. But I went back and I looked at my stream and was like, oh no, 
I literally had a delay on my audio to my video, so my camera was way off. It literally turned out I had a 600 millisecond delay. So I, I looked like a poorly dubbed kung fu movie for four hours. And, uh, well, evidently uh, my chat was too polite on the first day to point it out. So I fixed that problem after I had looked at my stream. And from that point, I started doing test streams multiple times before I actually implemented something new to make sure that it was correct. I mean, since I've been doing that, I've fixed audio levels where I added new music tracks and the levels are so high compared to the other tracks that I got from the same place that I actually had to turn down my music as a whole because every time one of those tracks came up, nobody could hear me. It was blasting them out. You know, uh, there are three separate games that I currently cannot stream because my CPU on my computer, since I stream and play off the same computer right now, the CPU can't handle it. So it drops my frame rate, and I literally start losing frames when I'm streaming. So I can't do it. I even found out that where I placed my camera was covering up important text for one of the games that I was going to be playing the next week. And the text is kind of important for some streams because well, your chat, your community, they might not have the audio going and they want to read that stuff. So I literally had to create a whole new overlay and move my camera around so that it wasn't obstructed in the stream. So really what it all just comes down to is test your stream, record it, play it back, look and listen to what you have going on and adjust and then do it again and do it again and make sure that you are giving the best quality product that you can provide to your audience before you actually go live. Bonus number A. That's right, it's a number. It is technically between before and during you streaming. You'd think it's kind of crazy, but I have met plenty of people that build the stream and they build it and they build it and they build it and they never actually stream. So the tip is start streaming, set a date. This is the date that I'm gonna start streaming on and push the button. If you want to stream, you have to just jump in and do it. Your content at the beginning, it's gonna suck. <laughs> There's no way around it. Whether you're streaming, whether you're doing content creation on YouTube, it, hell, if you're taking pictures on Instagram, your content is going to suck at the beginning and you have to continue to suck at the content before you start making something that's worth it. But you'll never learn if you don't actually start streaming. I mean, literally, unless you're already good at entertaining a crowd that is not even there, that you can't even see, you have to be able to entertain a crowd that doesn't exist. There are going to be things that you have to learn while you're doing it. So, tip is just start streaming. Hit the button. Once you've built out your stream, just hit the button. Set a date that that's the date you're going to launch. So, start the stream. Start the YouTube. Do that thing. So, with that, thank you again, Landers and YouTube. I really appreciate you being here. If you want to see more of these types of actual videos, let me know. Put them in the comments below and definitely like this video as well. I can tell based on the metrics. Thank you. And hey, see you next time. Thank you once again, YouTube, for watching the video. I really do appreciate you. Hey, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notification when we go live with a new video. That's every Sundays. Also, like and comment on that video you just watched. I want to know what content you want to see. What content you want me to do. I mean, this is your channel. This is your community. I do this for you. Also, right over here. That's right. Those are the social links. I do things IRL in those as well. A little different from what we do here. And a little different from what we do, last but not least, Twitch. On Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Also better known as Beers Day over the channel. 3 to 7. Come have a beer. Join the Landers. Be part of the chat. Thank you once again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, YouTube.
Come on. 